sources of funds for financing the Office of the Special Prosecutor would include donations and grants. And when we complain about it at first, I think they've come back and added a sweetener. They says, approved by the minister responsible for finance. Take out donations and grants. It's a window for corruption. If it's serious, let's treat it as if it's serious. Why can we not fund this office? Okay, when we talk about billions of dollars stolen in corruption, funding from the consolidated fund, leave no room for anybody to make a donation. Corruption is pro prospective concurrent. And after the fact, somebody, especially the drug dealers, they plan 10 years ahead. So they can start paying monies, taking care of you, building your houses, buying you cars, paying your kids' school fees, giving you foreign trips, 10 years ahead before they get into trouble. And when they get into trouble and you see that it is him who has been giving you all these things for the past 10 years, you will not be able to take action against him. So you are gone. It's concurrent. When it's happening, they are taking care of you. Your mother is dying and they've flown the person to go and take some treatment which is costing $30,000. And you can jail that person, you can't. And it's also after the fact, you are promised things, when you do it in your retirement, they take care of you. Now, I think it's wrong for us to expose some of our state institutions to some of these things. Recently, you heard some of the stories, okay, about Chinese people giving donations to our police. Look, perception is everything when it comes to these things. Okay, so please, personally think that we should just take this thing out. If it's serious, let's just treat it as if it's serious and put real money behind it. We can spend 70 something million dollars on software that doesn't work. So we should be able to spend money on our Office of the Special Prosecutor.